Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out tonight. Another beautiful night. On behalf of Fayetteville Manlius High School, the staff, student body, I welcome you to our annual awards and recognition night. This evening's ceremony is a proud occasion for the students receiving awards, their families, and the faculty. Tonight, we're presenting 148 awards um, to seniors for their academic, citizenship, leadership, and or service achievements. These students reflect the best of Fayetteville Manlius High School. Their efforts are in pursuit of excellence and in giving of themselves are certainly appreciated. You'll note that the names of the recipients do not appear in your program. We've done this, of course, intentionally so that receiving the actual award is not anticlimactic. A list of the recipients uh, will be distributed at the end at the ticket booth as you leave, so don't forget to pick up one of those. Several of the awards presented tonight are sponsored by outside organizations. On behalf of students who will be receiving these awards and on behalf of the high school staff, I'd like to thank these organizations for their willingness to recognize our students' achievements and for their support of our school's programs. Please remain for the entire program as some students may be receiving more than one award. Others will not be honored until later in the program. Also, please wear your mask, maintain social distancing while on campus. Your cooperation, of course, is appreciated. Uh, we don't always get to start our ceremony this way, but we have uh, the privilege of a really unique um, recognition for two of our students. So at this time, I'd like to welcome uh, and invite Commander uh, Daniel Wheeler to the podium to provide special recognition for two students who have been admitted to the United States Naval Academy after graduation. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, I am a retired Commander Dan Wheeler, United States Naval Academy class of 1975, and I'm the local Academy admission blue and gold officer for Fayetteville Manlius High School. It is my distinct pleasure to have the opportunity today to recognize the significant honor that two FM students have earned by receiving appointments to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. This year, Michael McGee and Alexis Smith Michael McGee and, and Alexis, Michael who could not be here this evening, have been selected to fill two of the approximately uh, 1,200 seats for the Academy's class of 2025 out of over 16,000 applicants. An appointment to the Academy is a full four-year scholarship including all tuition, room and board, medical and dental benefits, and a stipend every month. The Naval Academy is a prestigious four-year institution that prepares midshipmen morally, mentally, and physically to be professional officers in the Naval Service. The student body consists of more than 4,000 women and men representing every state and many foreign countries. U.S. News and World Reports has recognized the Naval Academy as a top five undergraduate engineering school and top 10 best liberal arts college. Graduates from our 25 academic majors are awarded a Bachelor of Science degree and yes, even our English and History majors receive Bachelor of Science degrees and they earn a commission as an officer in the United States Navy or Marine Corps. They serve their country for at least five years. Michael and Alexis will report to Annapolis at the end of June for six weeks of intensive training called Plebe Summer. The pressures and rigors of Plebe Summer are carefully designed to help prepare them for their first academic year at the Academy and for the four years of challenge ahead. Fayetteville Manlius should be very proud of the achievements of Michael, who was unable to be here, and Alexis. On behalf of, the, behalf of the class of 1975, separated from their class by 50 years, uh, a, a lot of links in the chain in between us, and the superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, it is my pleasure to welcome these exceptional individuals to the Naval Academy's class of 2025. Go Navy. On to our department awards. The following awards are presented to students whose achievement or contribution distinguishes them 
as outstanding individuals within a particular subject area. In each area, the HSA is giving awards to students who have distinguished themselves through exceptional performance. Also, other subject area awards recognizing superior achievement are also being presented. The HSA awards for physical education are presented this year to Sam Gwynn and Emma Cronenberg. The HSA awards for art are presented to Madison Krauss and Harper Stoppaker. The AHSA Award for Photography are presented to Kylie Beam and Hannah Lee. The National Civil Silver Medal for Art Portfolio goes to Grace Bloom. The HSA Awards for Business and Computer Science are presented to, in business, Jacob O'Connor, and Computer Science, Kasha Benapudi. <laughs> for computer programming, this is awarded to a student for exceptional achievement in programming. This year's recipient, Kevin Shang. The Education Support Personnel Award is given to the most dedicated business education student by the FM Educational Support Personnel. This year's recipient, Damian Russell. The SECNY Federal Credit Union Business Education Award is given to a student for excellence in business subjects. This year's recipient, Connor Wyorzik. <laughs> the HSA award recipients for the counseling department are Sarah Hills and John Lorraine. The Mannion Family Trust Award is awarded to seniors for their outstanding contribution to the ABC program. This year's recipient, Ijoma Oko. <laughs> the HSA Award winners for English are presented to 12th grade literature and writing, Sadie Fridley and Grace Kircher. For 12th grade English impact, Jennifer Poole.
for 12th grade English writing, Emma Cronenberg. The HSA Award for Family and Consumer Sciences are presented to Miles Marnie and Carlina Sidello. The HSA awards for languages other than English are presented to, in French, Nicole Shanguilla. <laughs> German, Grace Kircher. Latin, Leo Peoples. And Spanish, Rebecca Ziobro. For the National French Exam Awards, this is given to those students who ranked highest at Fayetteville Manlius in the French exam. At level five, Sadie Fridley and Alethea Ayetu. The National German Exam Awards to those students who earn distinction on the National AATG German exam, level four, Julia Kohlbrenner. The National Latin Exam Awards the following student received five gold medals on the National Latin Exam throughout five years of Latin studies. This award qualifies the student to apply for a four-year college scholarship given by the National Latin Exam Committee. This year's recipient, Emma Cronenberg. <laughs> the National Spanish Exam Awards to those students who ranked highest at Fayetteville Manlius on the National Spanish Exam. At level four, Emma Saraluca. <laughs> and at level five, Celine Paliacara and Rebecca Ziobro. The HSA awards for math are presented to Charles Lowe and Andy Sun. The American Mathematics Contest this award is given to students with the highest score on the AMC 12 examination. This year's recipients, Kevin Shang, Andrew Shim. Outstanding Senior Math Student Award is given to the student with the highest average in math over a four-year period. This year's recipient, 
Emma Cronenberg. The following music and drama awards are presented on behalf of the backstage backers and are given to seniors for four years of distinguished service. So for music, band, Nina Sheng, choir, Justin Hanover, and orchestra, Alexander Dugalby. For drama, leadership, Sky Rolnick and Louisa Schramm. <laughs> Performance, Kirsten Fielding, Sadie Raynor. See, that's how you do it. You just stand and you let them take a picture. And technical, John Lutz and Samantha Rizzo. Peer pressure now. The next awards are given to students whose achievement or contribution distinguishes them as outstanding individuals within that category. For 12th grade band, Samuel Rabin and Caitlin Sanzone. For 12th grade choir, Ethan Bird, Joshua Ovedia. <laughs> 12th grade orchestra, Samantha Kellish, Andy Sun. The Bruce McCormick Music Scholarship is given to a student for exceptional ability in music who will be attending an advanced program in music beyond an associate's degree at an accredited institution. This year's recipient, Sadie Fridley. The following music and drama awards are sponsored by the Backstage Backers. The Backstage Backer Presidential Scholarship is awarded to an outstanding senior who intends to pursue one of the performing arts as a career. This year's recipient, Gerard McCrowan. The Bruce Campbell Vocal Award is given to a senior who has demonstrated outstanding commitment to the FM High School Choral Program. This year's recipient, Michael McGee. <laughs> Dr. Philip Martin Commitment to Music Award is given in honor of former superintendent, Dr. Philip Martin, and is given to a senior who has demonstrated commitment to music throughout high school. This year's recipient, Maya Chaikin. <laughs> the 
The Jackie Coley Award is given to a student who has been a devoted offstage contributor to the Performing Arts Program. This award is named after the founder and first president of the Backstage Backers. This year's recipient, Jay Corder. The Jim Byers Vocal Music Award is given to a senior who has shown outstanding vocal achievement, Sadie Fridley. The Sox Tifo Award is given to a senior who has exhibited excellence in music theater. This year's recipient, Jamie Case. The Muriel Bodley Excellence in Music Education Award is given to a senior who has shown outstanding achievement and plans to pursue a career in music education. This year's recipient, Lindsay Hebert. The Ronald Hebert Instrumental Music Award is given to a senior who has shown outstanding instrumental achievement. This year's recipient, Charles Lowe. The Senior Michael Guzman Dance Award is given to a senior showing excellence in dance for the school musical. This year's recipient, Lindsay Heber. The HSA Award for Science are presented to Celine Paliakara and Kevin Chang. The Fayetteville Firemen's Association Conservation Award is given to a student for excellence in a conservation course or activity. This year's recipient, Katherine Cole. The New York State Science Honor Society Service Award is given to students who have exemplified the ideal Science Honor Society member through leadership, dedication, and service to their school and community. This year's recipient, Emma Cronenberg. The HSA Awards for Social Studies are presented to Zoe Costanza and Allison Wild. The James McDermott Social Studies Award is given to a student for outstanding performance in social studies. This year's recipient, Alexis Ahn. The Five Plus Five Award is given to students who have scored fives on both the AP World History exam and the AP United States History exam. This year's recipients are Elise Beckman. Justin Hanover. Luke Hasenwinkel. Grace Kircher.
Emma Cronenberg. <laughs> Hannah Lee. <laughs> Callum Newton. <laughs> Joshua Ovedia. and Allison Wild. The HSA Award for Technology and Design are presented to Ethan Bujan and Damian Russell. The Technology and Design Award of Excellence is given to seniors who, from ninth grade to graduation, have demonstrated the highest level of quality of excellence in engineering, design, and innovation while enrolled in technical design courses. This year's recipients are James Perkovich, <laughs> Daniel Schrilla. and Luke Stratton. One more round of applause for all of our department award winners. At this time, I'm gonna ask Heidi Green, Director of Counseling Services, to come up and present the rest of the awards. The following Memorial Awards are given in memory of individuals who contributed significantly to the academic and extracurricular life of the Fayetteville Manlius School District. Students apply for most of the Memorial Awards and recipients are selected by either a Memorial Committee or a Faculty Committee. The Edward Pasto Memorial Award is given to a senior pursuing an undergraduate degree in medicine, human services, or education. This year's recipient is Emma Kalichi. The Fayetteville Fireman's Auxiliary Award. This award is given in memory of deceased members of the auxiliary to a senior entering a health-related profession. This year's winner is Ima Din. The Fayetteville Manlius Memorial Awards are given to seniors pursuing undergraduate degrees at accredited colleges or universities. These students are recognized for their academic achievement, character, and contributions to our school. These awards have been made possible through donations from community members in memory of deceased FM students. Kashup Bendapudi, Madeline Fosik, Alexandra Marcinkowski, McKenna Florzik, and Hannah Fox. The Fayetteville Manlius Teachers Association Memorial Scholarship goes to a senior who exemplifies true commitment to the school community in his or her attitude toward learning and in his or her drive to make the school a better place as demonstrated in and out of the classroom. 
The student must be a credit to the FM school community as evidenced by leadership and service performed in the community and school. It's with great pressure that the FMTA gives its award this year to Madison Kraus. The Flavia Jean Bartolome Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior who exemplifies the character traits that were so respected in Flavia. Strong family values, reaching out to others, maturity and honesty, and commitment to academics. This year's recipient is Hannah Madden. The Joseph Byrne Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior pursuing a four-year college degree who has excelled academically during his or her high school career. The recipient is a student who reaches out to others in a compassionate, caring way. This year's winner is Helena Schmidt. The Pamela Braun Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior accepted and enrolled in an accredited, accredited university or a college to pursue an undergraduate degree leading to a career in teaching. This year's recipient is Lindsay Hebert. Rotary Club of DeWitt Lou Marshall Memorial Awards are given to two academically oriented students who have demonstrated leadership and entrepreneurial qualities in both school and community, reflecting the Rotary's motto, Service Above Self. This year's recipients are Morgan Napier and Cyrus Felton. The Suzanne Civitello Memorial Scholarship is given to a graduating senior who exemplifies Susie's dedication to community, especially through service to children, the underprivileged or disabled, and demonstrates Susie's spirit of compassion, loyalty, and pursuit of academic excellence. This year's winner is Samitha Adavi Kalanu. The Walter and Cecile Borschert scholarships are given to deserving seniors who are pursuing undergraduate degrees in accredited colleges or universities. These students are recognized for their academic achievement, character, industry, extracurricular involvement, and community service. This year's winners are Justin Hanover, Ijoma Oko, and Celine Paliacra.
Senior Recognition Awards. The following awards are given to seniors in recognition of their outstanding citizenship, leadership, and scholarship. Except for the National Merit Awards, the recipients are selected by a faculty council or by the sponsoring organization. Several of the scholarships require student applications. The Artisan Citizen Award for outstanding contributions to the school community above and beyond the requirements of the classroom. This year's recipient is Joyce Chen. Carol Hansen and Ethel Botter scholarship is to a senior who is a member or whose parents are members of the Fayetteville Volunteer Fire Department. Scholarships are based on the applicant's academic or vocational achievements. Applicants must be pursuing further educational or vocational training. And this year's recipient is Jack Middleton. The Class of 1991 scholarship is awarded to a senior who has contributed to their class through service and spirit. This year's recipient, Sophia Hefner. The Counseling Center Character and Service Awards are given to seniors who exhibit exemplary standards of character and service, who are respectful of fellow students, and who put others before self. This year's winners are Seth Bailey and Sophie Shear. The Daughters of the American Revolution Fayetteville Awajina Chapter Good Citizens Award is given to a senior in recognition of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. This year's winner is Samuel Rabin. The Rotary Club of DeWitt Lou Marshall Memorial Award is given to, two, to an academically oriented student who has demonstrated leadership and entrepreneurial qualities in both school and community, reflecting the Rotary's motto, Service Above Self. This year's winner, Morgan Napier. <laughs> Daughters of the American Revolution Fayetteville Oagina Chapter Scholarship is given to a deserving female senior in the upper fourth of the graduating class who is interested in pursuing a four-year degree in a human service field. This student must be a resident of New York State and a citizen of the United States of America. This award is sponsored by the Fayetteville Oagina Chapter National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution. And this year's recipient is Jennifer Kruger. The David Wheeler Award, in honor of his 20 years of outstanding leadership and service to the Fayetteville Manlius community and his capacity as principal of Wellwood Middle School, the Wellwood HSA established this award, which is given annually to two seniors who embody Mr. Wheeler's qualities of citizenship, leadership, school spirit, service, and compassion. I'm pleased to present this award to Julia Kohlbrenner and Callum Newton.
The Dorothy Old Scholarship is given to a senior who appreciates their education and has rich, enriched the school community through a strong work ethic, academic achievement, outstanding character, or community service. Dorothy Olds was a former Fayetteville Elementary School teacher. This year's recipient is Lydia Schuler. Dr. Philip Martin Leadership Award was established by the Board of Education to honor Dr. Martin's leadership of our district. This award is given to a senior who exemplifies Dr. Martin's commitment to excellence and his qualities of integrity, hard work, open communication, and appreciation for the contributions of others. The recipient is an individual who demonstrates these qualities in a quiet and unassuming manner and serves as a role model for peers at school and within the community. This year's winner is Emma Cronenberg. The FM Education Foundation Award is in keeping with the FM Education Foundation's mission of creating a world of opportunities. This award is presented to a senior who has devoted themselves to enhancing educational opportunities for others. This year's winner is Kevin Shang. The Joan Wilcox Service Awards, in recognition of their unselfish commitment to helping their peers, whether academically, socially, or emotionally, this award is sponsored by teaching assistants and aides of the S FM School District. This year's winners are Sadie Fridley and Evan Kruken. The Joseph Edward Kingston and Margaret D. Kingston Scholarship is given to a senior who is pursuing an undergraduate degree leading to a career in teaching. This scholarship is based on work ethic, character, and service to school community. This year's winner is Sarah Reisman. The Manlius Lions Club scholarships are given to seniors who have maintained high academic standards, been involved in extracurricular activities, and have, and have volunteered their services in the community. This year's winners are Justin Hanover and Lauren Hayes. The Manlius Volunteer Fire Company Scholarships are given to seniors who plan to pursue further education or vocational training and who demonstrate leadership and civic volunteerism. Preference is given to applicants who are members of or have family members in the Manlius Volunteer Fire Department or Explorer Post 526. This year's recipients are Justin Hanover, Andrew, Her Andrew Herrig, and Jay Corder. Each year, the National Merit Scholarship Program honors students who show exceptional academic ability and potential for success in rigorous college studies. Selection as a National Merit Finalist is an outcome of a strong performance on the PSAT and excellence in the classroom. FM is proud to recognize Zoe Costanza, Alethea Ayeta, Emma Cronenberg, Joshua Ovedia, Andrew Shim, and Alexis Smith.
This spring, one of our National Merit finalists was recognized as a scholarship winner, receiving a National Merit Scholarship. Please congratulate Emma Cronenberg. New York State Scholarships for Academic Excellence. These awards are based on criteria set forth by the New York State Education Department and are provided to support full-time study in approved programs in New York State colleges or universities. This year's recipients are Madeline Fosick, Sadie Fridley, Emma Cronenberg, Celine Pagliacra, Leo Peoples, Brandon Rogers, Andy Sun, and Rebecca Ziobro. The Patrick Cole Award is given to a senior planning to attend a two- or four-year college. Selection is based on those characteristics so representative of Patrick. Strength of character, love of life, compassion for others, and an ability to laugh despite adversity and maintain a positive outlook. This year's winner is Zaire Kaur. The Ray Mann Visual and Performing Arts Award is given to two seniors who have made significant contributions to the visual and or performing arts during their high school career at FM. This year's recipients, Sarah Poole and Peyton Gira. The Town of Manlius Police Benevolent Association, Association Scholarship is given to two seniors who will pursue a career in law enforcement and a degree at an accredited college. This year's recipients are Lauren Hayes and Samuel Wilkes. The HSA Senior Awards. The remaining awards are given annually by the Home and School Association. These awards recognize seniors who have exemplified leadership, scholarship, school service, and all-around excellence. Each recipient receives a framed, personalized certificate along with a monetary award. The recipient's names are added to plaques on display throughout the year and the trophy case in House 2. The winners have been chosen by a committee of faculty and administration representatives. The HSA thanks this committee for a difficult job. Well done. Outstanding School Spirit Awards. These two seniors have demonstrated great enthusiasm and loyalty to FM. Throughout their high school years, they have exhibited true school spirit and have encouraged others to be involved in their school. This year's recipients, Braden Downs and Brandon Rogers.
The Outstanding School Service Award is presented to two seniors who have worked for the betterment of the school in a variety of ways. Each has accomplished a great deal without expecting public recognition. Each of these individuals goes out of their way to volunteer countless hours to enhance and ensure the completion and success of a project or an event. This year's recipients, Isaac Frechette and Samantha Rizzo. Outstanding Leadership Awards. These two seniors have exemplified leadership of the first rank. Through their extraordinary efforts, they have directed others to success. Their accomplishments have effectively led others to strengthen the quality of student life at FM. This year's recipients, Julia Ignazic and Rebecca Ziobro. The Outstanding Scholar Award is presented to the senior with the highest grade point average. This year's winner is Emma Cronenberg. And last but not least, the Outstanding All-Around Student Award. This senior has reached out to many different groups while maintaining a credible academic average. This person has worked very hard combining academic and extracurricular activities to become a well-rounded person. This year's recipient is Lucille Fowler. Please give a round of applause for all our senior award recipients. I did say one hour. That's pretty good. So please give a round of applause for all our senior award recipients. In closing, I would like to personally thank the HSA parent volunteers, our student activity secretary, Sevilla Cook, Mr. Michael O'Brien, director of student activities, Mr. Pat McNamara and Ms. Karen Liparulo, our assistant principals, Amy Fiorito, computer resource teacher, Mary Foran from our career center, our faculty members who've worked so hard to put this evening's event together, their time efforts were significant and greatly appreciated. Please feel free to take photos on the turf or around campus. However, again, we'd ask you to continue to wear your mask while walking around campus. And as you leave, don't forget to grab that insert as you walk out past the ticket booth. At this time, before we leave, though, it is tradition for seniors to sing the alma mater. So seniors, please rise right where you are. On the back of your program, you'll find the words, not that you need them. And parents, you can join us as well. But let's go ahead and sing our, or bring our, our ceremony to a close by singing our alma mater 
And again, thank you again for attending this evening. I'll get started. Ready? One, two. Guarded by the Come on. Raise we now. Come on. Well done. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Have a great night. See you at graduation. Good job, guys.